London Transport Museum. You guys are just in time for our great big bus quiz. Did you know that London's first form of public transport was a bus? In fact, I'm going to introduce you to London's first ever bus, Shillaby's Omnibus, which was invented all the way back in the Victorian times. The coach builder George Shillaby saw the idea while he was in Paris, brought it back to London and started his own service in 1829, which ran from Paddington to Bank. He called it an omnibus, as omni means all in Latin, and he wanted it to be for all the people. First question. In London, the largest double-decker bus can fit up to 130 passengers. How many passengers do you think can fit into Shillybeer's omnibus? Is it A, 50, B, 2 or C, 22? The answer is C, 22. 22 people can uh, snugly fit into Shilly Bear's omnibus. Second question. What do you think Shilly Bear's omnibus is powered by? Is it A, steam, B, horses, or C, petrol? The answer is B, horses. Each omnibus is powered by three horses. Oh, good boy. Third question. What do you think made the omnibus different to private carriages that were also operating at the time? Was it A, they had a set journey and you could hail them at any point? Was it B, there was a roof that covered the passengers' heads? Or was it C, there was food and drink on board? And the answer is A. This is the first time that you could hail an omnibus and that it had a set route that it stuck to every time. Fourth question. In an aim to tackle air pollution, Transport for London has promised to produce a zero emissions bus fleet by 2040. So this means they won't be using petrol or diesel to power their buses. What do you think they will be using? Is it A, electricity, B, banana skins, or C, sunlight? And the answer is A, electricity. The new buses will be powered by electricity, which is a much greener form of energy. And in fact, you may have been on one of them already. There are over 400 in London and more are coming in every year. Final question. With so many horses on the road, there was a problem that was caused. I'll give you a clue. This was a very smelly problem. In fact, why don't you shout out the answer after three? One, two, three. Ah, poo, did you say? You are of course right. With so many horses on the road, it's estimated that a thousand tonnes of horse poo fell on the streets of London every single day. In fact, the Times even ran an article saying that if there was not going to be a solution to the problem soon, then London would find itself nine feet deep in manure. Luckily, other forms of transport came about after this. Fantastic work, guys. That's the end of our great big bus quiz. How did you get on? Who won? Oh, you did. 
brilliant. You can come and help me clear up all this poo. Come on. Thank you.